everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a nice day or night. A happy first day of spring. Even though this video won't be up on the first day of spring, I'm filming it on the first day of spring. So, so in honor of us getting out of winter, I thought I would do like a perfect spring makeup tutorial today. I'm gonna do my interpretation of like the ultimate spring makeup. Quite simple, nothing too technical, but I just want to do something really pretty, really feminine, you know, more of like a soft glam. So yeah, if you guys want to see how to create a perfect spring makeup, then keep on watching. I mean, I'm really taking this spring thing too seriously. Like I'm even wearing a singlet. Like that's a big deal because it's so cold. Because even though it's really beautiful and sunny today, it's still pretty cold. So, but I absolutely hate winter. So I'm totally getting into the spirit of things. So yeah, let's get started. Because we are kind of sticking with a soft glam theme today, I am going to start with the skin. I'm just going to take my earrings out. I'm just going to start off with my Mario Badescu facial spray. So I'm just about to go in with primer. I'm just sanitizing my hands. The approach that I want to take with skin today is I don't want to go crazy glowy dewy. I mean, I still want the skin to look nice and healthy, but, but you know, realistically in spring, it is quite windy. And if I'm going to have wet tacky skin and my hair down and it's going to blow in my face and stick to my skin. No, thank you. So, okay. So going in with my Illamasqua matte veil primer today, this primer is so long wearing and great if you've got really oily skin, which I think when we come into spring, of course, we want to keep our skin hydrated, but you know, as the days get warmer and the days get longer, and we're going to be outside more. You definitely do want to have a base that is long wearing. But of course, whatever primer is your favorite, you should use. Okay, and for foundations today, I'm going to go in with two of my favorites. I'm going to take my NARS Sheer Glow and my L'Oreal True Match. So I have just bronzed up my body a little bit. I know my skin is super pale. So I'm definitely going to have to take this foundation all over the skin, right the way down to my chest. And on my Morphe M492 brush, we're going to start painting. Another thing, guys, that I think it's super important to keep in mind about spring is as the sun comes out, you always, always want to protect your skin. So don't forget your sunscreen. I'm just literally so petrified of getting wrinkles that I wear SPF 50 sunscreen on my face every single day. <laughs> guys, and now always onto cream contour. I know my face does kind of look a little bit ridiculous right now, as it always does, but don't worry. Once we get in with concealer and whatnot, it should be fine. Guys, I'm just so happy that spring is here. I mean, spring is, is a beautiful season regardless, but to me, it signifies that we're one step closer to summer. Like, summer is just my all-time favorite season. Like, I don't even care. 40 degree heat, give it to me. Like, I just love the sun. I'm so sick of being freezing cold. I mean, it probably doesn't help that my apartment is like the Antarctic, um, but... Yeah, I just can't wait. Like, I love the water. Definitely, definitely not a beach person. Like, I hate the beach, but there's, uh, like, rivers and lakes around where I live. So, though I like those kinds of body of waters. What about you guys? What's your favorite season? And what's your, like, ideal temperature? My ideal temperature for a day would be, like, 35 degrees, which probably sounds so heinous um, to a lot of people, but I just, yeah, I love the sun. Now onto concealer. I've really, really been getting back into my Tarte Tape Shape Concealer, but I also could not live without my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. And because the Tarte Concealer is quite full coverage and quite heavy, and my Maybelline is quite light and fluidy, and it's quite hydrating as well, I like to go in and do the bulk of my concealing with my Maybelline. Just love the way that this feels on the skin. It's just so nice and light. I mean, not that I would ever complain. I mean, I wear about 40 kilos of foundation, <laughs> but just putting a little bit of my tape shape just where I really, really need it, just underneath the eye. Back in with my beauty blender. Gosh, I just love this bit, blending out the concealer underneath my eyes. This is definitely going to hide the fact that I stayed up till like 1.30 last night watching Big Bang Theory. <laughs> and as always, just taking the bottom of my beauty blender, and this is just to fuse together the lines of where my concealer and foundation meet. Okay guys, now onto setting the face. I'm just gonna dampen my beauty blender. So just pressing in my powder right underneath my eyes and then bringing that right down over the apples of my cheeks. Okay, a little bit on my chin. And don't forget the neck. Okay guys, and now onto bronzer and I did just quickly go and throw my earrings back in. I love wearing diamonds, well, not real diamonds obviously, but I just love uh, wearing little diamond earrings. They're so timeless. It's right underneath my jaw. 
and then just taking that a little bit down the neck. And now onto my Hula by Benefit. And I'm just keeping this really, really short, just right at the back of my cheekbone. So let's move on to brows. Okay, so I'm going in with my NYX Micro Brow Pencil, and I always like to start just by brushing my brow hairs up. I've been doing a different technique for my brows lately. Just taking the tip of my brow pencil, I'm just going to start off by mimicking some brow hairs. And I'm going to take this right the way through the brow. So you can see I'm quite obviously just drawing on some pretend brow hairs. And then once I get to the edge of my brow, just extending that a little bit. And then for the top of my brow, just in short, soft strokes, just following my natural brow line. And keep brushing up as I go, just to get a natural blend. And just meeting up with the end of my brow. And now underneath, where we've created all my false brow strokes, I'm just going to softly draw in a defined line. And for that, all I'm going to do is do little backwards and forwards strokes. So that is the base of my brow done. Instead of physically getting in there and colouring it in to fill the gaps, I just take my pencil and where I see gaps, I'm just going to draw lines. Sometimes I love perfect brows, but more often than not, I just prefer softer, natural looking brows. Natural but groomed, I say. And then always just taking a disposable mascara wand, a little bit of hairspray, and to set my brows down, I just like to brush my hairs upward. Okay. One brow done. Okay, so now that we have both of our brows on for eyeshadow today, I'm gonna go in with my Too Faced Natural Eyes palette. This is definitely an oldie but a goodie. If you guys can see, they've got some beautiful, beautiful colors in there. So for today's eye look, I'm gonna go in with Heaven, Nudie, Cashmere Bunny, then maybe a tiny little bit of Sexpresso, which is a nice dark brown here. So starting off with Nudie, which is just a soft, neutral brown. I'm going to use this as my transition shade. Just on a nice, big, fluffy brush. And we're going to keep the eyes really, really simple today. So I'm just building up this Nudie color. I love this palette so much. It is so versatile. I'm going to just quickly show you guys before I keep going with the eyes. So this eyeshadow right here, which is Silk Teddy, is the most beautiful, beautiful color to use as a highlighter. I actually use this eyeshadow as a highlighter on my 21st birthday, so that's a big deal. You know it's good. <laughs> and then, and also the neutral browns that I showed you, so these three right here are amazing, amazing eyebrow colors. And then on that same brush, I'm just picking up Heaven, which is just like a neutral bone color. It's like Brulee from MAC. And I'm just gonna run this just over the mobile lid. And I actually used to use this eyeshadow to set underneath my eye. My gosh, you guys, this palette is bringing up so many memories. Even the eyeshadow that I used as my transition shade, I used to sometimes use as a contour on my really pale clients. And then just on a flat brush, I'm just taking Nudie which was the shade we used as our transition. And I'm just gonna run this underneath the eye. And now just taking a brown eyeliner, this is Brown Sugar by Napoleon Purtis. I'm just going to do a super soft, super fine line of this, just in my waterline, just because I feel naked without it. Now I definitely wanna do an eyeliner, but whether I go in with a liquid or a gel or maybe just keep it to a black eyeshadow. You know what, I might even just take Suspresso, this beautiful dark color, and it's nice to utilize a whole palette, I think. So tapping off the excess and just pushing this just into my lash line. I am gonna wing it out ever so slightly. You know, using eyeshadow in place of eyeliner can be so nice sometimes. You still get that definition, but it's not as harsh. How beautiful is it using a brown as well? I did not think I was going to like this, but it's beautiful. I like it. 
And just quickly before we move on to eyelashes, I'm just going to take my Giella Cosmetics I Am Glam highlighter and I'm just going to highlight the inner corner of my eye, which I think is so pretty, so gorgeous anyway, but so lovely for spring. This is the same highlighter that I'm going to use to highlight the face, so it's good. We're keeping our products to a minimum. Just love highlighting my inner corners. So I'm just using my little mini Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. So I'm just going to put on a good coat of mascara. Now I am going to go in with some individual lashes today. Now you absolutely don't have to. I mean, as you can see, this eye look looks so beautiful with just a little bit of mascara. But individual lashes just make me feel so pretty. I feel like I'd be cheating on myself if I wasn't using false lashes. <laughs> So here I've just got my Ardell and I'm going to go in with a mixture of mainly short and maybe a couple of mediums throughout the inner corner. So I've just finished popping on my individuals and now just before we go into highlighter I'm going to go in with the star of the show today. Now this is, as you can see, my very very well loved blush. This is by MAC. It's in the colour Dame. I mean, I'm definitely, definitely not a blush person. I never really have been. But I do have a soft spot for really cool toned, soft baby pink blushes. And Dame just has my heart. So I'm just going to pop this just through the back of the cheekbone, almost above where I contoured. Now, for my face personally, I don't really like to keep the blush on the apples of my cheeks. It just kind of makes me feel a little bit chubby, which probably sounds so ridiculous. But I just prefer to keep it to the back of the cheekbone, which is a little bit 80s, but... Actually, guys, I say I've never really been into blush, but when I was in high school, I was obsessed with wearing this blusher. Oh, was it was it maybe Fleur Power by MAC, which is a bright, bright kind of dark red pink. Like, it was heinous. I mean, I, I love it, but it was... It was heinous and I still remember it so vividly. I wore no tan, so I was really pale, like really full coverage. Wore massive, massive long lashes. Not necessarily thick, but really long lashes. No contour, no highlight, nothing. I would just plaster, and I mean plaster this bright blush right the way over my cheek. And I loved it. <laughs> it made me feel so pretty. It was like iconic for me. I just think adding a blusher is such a nice way to spruce up your makeup routine in spring. Oh, literally, guys, this is my favorite blush ever. It's the best blush in the world. And if they ever discontinued it, actually, let's not go there because I don't think you guys want to see me cry on camera. <laughs> and then quickly, just for highlighter, I'm going to take, again, my Giella I Am Glam highlighter. Okay, so just a tiny little bit of highlighter. And now last but not least, moving on to lips, of course, guys, as I have to take my Plum Roll by Napoleon Purtis. I am definitely doing a pale nude lip, but I just need a little bit of depth around the outsides of my lips. Okay, so just going around the outline. Do you guys actually want to know something so funny that I thought the other day? I see videos on YouTube all the time of like the do's and don'ts of makeup. So it'll be like the artist and they'll have one side of their face which is the do's and then the other side is the don'ts. And I, I always see like an overdrawn really dark lip liner that's not blended so it's really harsh. And I just laugh and think that is literally exactly how I do my lips. So I have to have a laugh. It's no shade or anything. I just think, oh, that's how I draw my lips on every day. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm going to go in with a tiny little bit of my NYX Retractable Lip Liner in Natural. Just a little bit. Because I am going to go in with a liquid lipstick. And for that, I'm going to be taking one of my all-time favourites. This is a NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Cairo. Which is super light, so I'm just going to keep it to the centre. Just softly buff that out with my finger. Now, I'm sure you guys know if you watch my videos, I love, love glossy lips. But I think for spring, if it's going to be windy outside, the last thing you want to do is pop a lip gloss on and then be constantly ripping your hair out of your sticky lip gloss. So I think matte lips, for me, is the way to go. Okay, guys, so this is my perfect spring makeup done it's fresh it's simple it's not using a ton of different products although i did just use like five different products on my lips but you know this makeup's definitely glam but a little bit on the softer more fresh side which i think is nice 
But yeah, anyways, happy spring, guys. I really hope you liked this video. As always, I would love if you guys gave this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.